Did you know that mastering the sniper isn't even that hard in COD Mobile? At the end of this video, you'll be a sniper user that will be as good as pro players. Let us start with the first tip, which is use jumping and peeking enemies instead of walking. Most new players playing this game usually use the walking or running joystick when they are peeking into corners, this is a very common mistake the players must not do. Meanwhile, pro players jump into areas when peeking to their enemies because this will be unexpected and could surprise them when they see you. What I usually do to do this trick is I move my joystick to either left or right, for this example I'm moving my joystick to the left, then I just jump as soon as out in the open. Well that is the simple way to do it. What other players do is they run and jump, then they move their screen 90 degrees to either left or right and then they click scope. Well if you think that's hard, what pro players do is they run, then they slide, then they jump and then look 90 degrees to left or right in scope. Well, since most of you are probably noobs, just start with the simple one then work your way up to the pro. For tip number 2, perfect swipe in your screen. You need to have fast sensitivity and use it to your advantage. Here is the difference between a slow sensitivity versus a fast sensitivity when swiping to the right side of the screen. It is very clear that having a fast sensitivity allows you to move and aim much more faster. Here is an example that pro players do on a 1 versus 1 situation. When using a sniper and an enemy is near you, know how to move your focus away from the enemy, then slide and refocus your aim to your enemy. This is a very important thing to do because most players have a hard time aiming when an enemy is very close. Another important thing that you should know is to maximize the use of weapon switching. If you're in a sniper 1v1 in a ranked match, and still don't know how to do the movement from earlier. What I usually do is slide and then jump, once I'm in the air, I switch my sniper to a melee weapon, because we all know that in close range battles, melee weapons wins most of the time. Next tip would be for those people who have their laser in their gunsmith and aim like this when waiting for the enemy, obviously, this is very wrong. What you need to do is aim at the wall where an enemy might come out, so that the enemy don't see your laser, when an enemy suddenly appears, immediately move your screen to the enemy and flip. With this, you'd be able to not be spotted since enemies cannot see your laser that might scare them off. If you don't want to do that, just remove the laser from your gunsmith, this way, you can wait in camp until your enemies appear, this is method is used by players who have a lot of patience or players who camps all day long. Bruh. Another tip for you is always remember to look at the number of bullets that you still have, especially on game modes like hardpoint, domination, or deathmatch. Ever wonder how annoying it is to reload in the middle of a gunfight? Well if you are always looking at the number of bullets that you have you will be able to avoid this problem. You should reload when you're at bullet 2. One of the common mistakes I see that new players do is that they reload at open areas, never reload at open areas, since you'd be 100% get killed. What you should do is reload at corners or get cover and reload then come back to the battlefield after reloading. Also never use prone when using a sniper, this is the last tip, here is an example, players use prone when they want to get cover or when an enemy started rushing, but since this video is about helping you to be the best pro sniper user and dominate every game, we don't need to use prone since we are the one who are going to rush. Some may say this is a crazy tip since most sniper users don't rush and stays at the base, but pro players rushes using a sniper and always do that, to get better and better until you reach their level. So yeah that's it, like the video thanks.